Most patients who have capsular contracture notice tightness and hardness of their implants. In order to address this and get it to stay away permanently, we not only need to remove and replace the implant, but we also need to remove the entire layer of scar tissue. This creates a new pocket for the implant. If the implant was above the muscle, we consider placing it below the muscle because that reduces the risk of capsular contracture. Finally, to prevent malposition of the implant and to reduce the risk of capsular contracture recurring, we use something called an allograft to suture the muscle to the chest wall and to cover the bottom aspect of the implant. Allograft is derived from human or animal tissue and it's processed in a way that there are no live cells remaining. And it simply serves as a scaffolding and a support for the implant. This is valuable for two reasons. The scaffolding will sit over the implant and act as a physical support because once we remove the thickened layer of scar tissue, it's possible for the implant to kind of bottom out or lose support in the breast tissue altogether. So the graft is one way to make sure the implant stays where we want it to. Secondly, studies have shown that the placement of the graft over the implant to separate it from the breast tissue does reduce the risk of recurrence of capsular contracture. Although patients don't always want to incur the cost of a graft or the complexity of surgery, since it does require a drain to be placed in the pocket, it does have a significant impact on the reduction of capsular contracture risk. We don't know exactly how this happens, but multiple studies are proving that the molecular structure of compounds in the area are different and the physical behavior of the tissue is different when we use allograft.